Welcome to the Everyday Mom Challenge. This is episode 95. I'm going to wash that gray right into my hair. All right, let's go to Proverbs chapter 17, verse 8. A gift is as precious stone in the eyes of him that hath it. Whithersoever it turneth, it prospereth. You know, gifts can come at us in so many different ways. You know, if you're a farmer, the gift of rain. If you're in love with warmth, summertime. <laughs> I'm feeling cold right now, so I'm wishing for that summertime. <laughs> words are gifts to me. And not just words that are circling around in my own brain, but words that I receive. And did I receive a gift this morning from my precious child? Okay, we're waking up. I say, okay guys, let's look at Mama's bucket list and let's see if we can add another one to it. And I had already previewed it. I'd went down through the list, all 44 of them. Yes, I've added them since our last talk of bucket list. And Solomon said, I know one Mama I said, okay, I'll do it. What is it? So I number 45, and I'm waiting for him to say something. And he says, I want you to grow gray naturally. <laughs> mm. If that was not a gift, and it just hit my spirit in the right way. Now, I don't know if you guys can see out there, but I didn't fix my hair. I, I wanted you guys to see all these little sprigs of gray that are starting to come up. Now, Billy Jo, she took care of me last time, and she made it my caramel brown color. Can you see all the gray? I want you guys to see. Gosh, I'm messing up my head. Well... It's there. If you can't see it, trust me. Because somebody at work already this week said something to me about it. Not, not. I mean, just an acquaintance is going by and say, Uh-huh, look at that up there. And how old are you again? And I laughed at him in the office and I said, Uh, 39, thank you. I'm loving it. And then I kind of thought about it throughout the day. And I told my friend Tom, I said, hey, girl, let's, you know, what do you think about this? I hey, I got a collar because uh, we have the same hairdresser. And I said, you know, I might need a collar. You know, we got to look at my roots up here. And it kind of started to worry me. Well, I thought it was just so ironic that this morning Solomon said that to me. After that had just happened to me Thursday after work. God works through my children to tell me, come here, bye-bye, to remind me of my past. Because when I was a teenager, I looked at my beautiful mother and I said, Mama, don't dye your hair anymore. Let it grow out gray. It's such a pretty gray. And I'm sure she might have been like me at first and was holding on to that worldly concept of, you know, what are people going to say or think? Or am I going to be pretty enough? And, and I don't know the thoughts that my mom might have had, but you know, those were mine. My son showed me that he thinks I'm beautiful just the way I am. Freedom in words. Such a gift. So do you think I typed that on my bucket list today? Yeah, I typed it in. So this chick... She's going gray. It's not about our physical appearance. We oftentimes get so caught up. You know, I'm, I'm not a name brand person anyway. I'm not a coordinated person. You know, you give me my Converse's and or my, you know, jeans, t-shirts, sweatshirts, sweaters, I'm good to go. I'm not, you know, I don't spend on all that fancy stuff. I don't go out and do all the 
pedicures and manicures and all that thing that people will say, well, that's girly girl stuff. You know, I have other priorities, and that's my children. They come first before me. Their growth spurts <laughs> come way ahead of mine. <laughs> and when people look at women, what do they see? Do they see the outward or the inner beauty of a woman or a man? I had someone tell me recently on a Proverbs 31 woman. So I want you to go today and I want you to read Proverbs 31. In my mama's Bible, she would had it marked before Proverbs 31. She would had a piece of paper stuck in it with her handwriting. She must have had to study it or read it or present it at church or, or in Sunday school or maybe it was something that just held on to her. Proverbs 31. Look at verse 10. Who can find a virtuous woman? For her price is far above rubies. You know, it's beyond this messed up hair or makeup, or the style you wear. It's a virtuous woman. Keep reading. The heart of her husband doth safely trust in her. It's about trust. It's about taking care of your family, speaking well of others. Well, she was a worker. And she took pride in what she did. Look at Proverbs 31 if you haven't. Strength and honor are her clothing. And she shall rejoice in time to come. We have so much to be thankful for. Just the little things. The little gifts, just like the memories that my son gave me today of my mother's beautiful gray hair, of me and my dad singing that South Pacific song. I'm going to wash that man right out of my hair. Remember that? And send him on his way. <laughs> and I said, I'm going to keep washing my hair and washing my hair. And it's going to be more gray and gray. And before long, you're going to have a gray-headed mama. What do you think of that? Mm. What? what? Well, your head be, oh, God, Bo. Bo. Him Bo. and Bo are playing. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sam. You I don't want a pizza you roll. Want? Don't you give that dog a pizza Baby roll. You? Give him a snack. You? Not that. You? Oh. You? All right. You want so. a treat? You want to Another it? gift that you I have been given it? is a you song. It you is called it? Multiplied, and it is by a group called Need to Breathe. And I love the video where there's a bottle, and they put like a GoPro on it, and they send it on through the river. I'm telling you guys, this song has brought me so much joy. I love the melody. I love the lyrics. I love to sing it. So... I am leaving that as a special gift to you. And I'd love for you to study Proverbs 31 as your challenge for today. How can you be more like her? All right. Have a blessed one. We're about to hit episode 100, by the way. Ah. All right. I'm praying for you. Pray for me.